Um, I don't go to medical checkups. Good. Because I feel that. <laughs> well, I'm glad you said good because uh, I, I, I feel the same way. There are very many well-meaning people who believe that your potential for wellness is not secure. And they think that they should probe every day looking for something going wrong so that they can catch it in the early subtle stages. And we say, keep looking, there'll be plenty to catch. That's, right. That's how it is created. Okay. So uh, another question, I've been a believer in supplements, but now I'm just wondering whether I can do without them because I still believe that uh, I have a pretty good uh, physical Well, condition. let us ask you a question. Do you believe in food? I believe in food, yes. Then supplements are the same. Will they do what the manufacturers promised? If you believe it. Do, if you believe it. <laughs> Dirt works the same way, actually. <laughs> right. Um, I pay attention to what I eat, and I've been told to eat a low no sodium, low fat diet, and not eat chocolate and things like that. By who? By my doctor. The and, doctor you uh, don't go to? He didn't specifically. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't specifically say chocolate. But I love chocolate, and I feel good when I eat it. Now, uh, will these things hurt me, even if I believe they won't? If you believe that they won't, they will not. But the fact that you've been going to the doctor to find out leads us to believe you might not be sure what you believe. They found out by accident. I happened to be in a hospital and they told me. But I didn't go to find out. Well, here's the way we would approach all of this. Your physical body, as we said earlier, is a chemical factory that has the ability to produce anything that you desire. And you have all of these trillions of cells that know what they're supposed to do, that know their relationship to each other, that are continually asking for whatever they need in order to achieve balance. So the better you feel, the more you are allowing the balance. Remember earlier when we said there are three parts of the process, mm -hmm. ask, source energy answers, and then you allow? So the cells of your body are asking. And source energy is answering, and the better you feel, the more you are allowing. In other words, we see people who have been told that they shouldn't eat this and this and this and this, and now they are worse off than if they had not been told that because they keep wanting to eat it, and every time they eat it, they feel guilty. Yeah. And so now when they eat it, or just think about eating it, they set up resistance that does not allow the well-being to flow. In other words, it's an interesting thing to watch our population. We are surprised that any of you can find anything to eat. Because almost everything that you have ever even thought about eating, somebody has found some reason that you should not eat it, for some reason, you see. And so what we are projecting and what we are encouraging is that you begin to make peace with your food. Love your food, and in doing so, love yourself back into well-being. And what you begin to notice is if you are eating something that your body is not wanting, you will begin to feel discomfort in the eating of it. But if you have got yourself in a place where you feel guilty about everything that you eat, then you can't be sensitive to those vibrations, you see. There are many physicians that would say, oh, Abraham, you should not be telling people that they can go off and eat anything that they want to eat. And we say, we're encouraging you to get into a place of feeling good and then follow whatever action is inspired from that good feeling place. There are those who say, should I go to the doctor? And we say, if you want well-being, and if you believe that the doctor is the path to your well-being, then going to the doctor may very well be the catalyst that aligns you with source energy. But if you do not think that going to the doctor is a good idea, and you go to the doctor, now the very same activity is serving as the catalyst to not align you, you see. Mm -hmm. And the biggest thing about all of it is that it is, again, one more thing that physical beings are doing to each other that falls into the category of saying to you, you don't have sense enough to know. In other words, it's like saying to the child, there is danger there when there is no danger. And then the child gets to the place where they cannot identify real danger because they have been told that there was danger when there wasn't for so long that now they don't trust their ability to know. They trust their parents' ability to know, but their parents cannot always be there with them, you see. And the same sort of thing begins to happen to people relative to diet or relative to physical body conditions. They get so they don't trust themselves and the doctors can't make up their mind what you should eat because every other day there's another book coming out that contradicts the last book that came out. And so here is the final scoop on food. Food good.
and you say what kind of food is good and what kind of food is bad and we say make a decision of how you want to feel say clearly on a regular basis I want to feel good I want to feel hearty I want to be energized I want this food to empower me I want to thrive I want food to really fuel me I want the cells of my body to be satisfied in what they're asking for I want to be sensitive to what my cells are asking for so that I'm inspired to the food that will provide it in a dominant way I want to find the rhythm of my body I want to know that I'm eating the right thing I want to be drawn to the right thing I want food to be satisfying I want it to be a pleasurable thing I want it to bring me a sense of well-being I want it to satisfy me in all ways and as you say those kinds of things on a really regular basis the things that will satisfy those things will be the things that pop out for you everywhere and so someone says, well, what keeps popping out for me is this gooey chocolate donut that I see a big sign for. And we say, well, then go to the chocolate donut and eat the chocolate donut and see how it feels. And if it feels good, eat it. And if you feel reluctance, once you have lined up with the energy and once you are in sync with following your bliss relative to food, anything that's not good for you, you will not feel a gravitation to. But this will happen in every single case once you align in the way that we are describing here. All kinds of things will feel good to you some of the time. In other words, sometimes you could do with a little dose of high sugar. Sometimes it's just exactly what you need for the thought process that you're working on or for the boost of energy that you want. But if you gravitate to it over and over and over again so that there is an inordinate amount of it within your system, then you do not feel so good and then you feel like gravitating to other things and most of you are so paranoid about food that you never get into that place of allowing yourself to be guided you see that's the optimum experience the golden mean oh it's balance that you're looking for in all things yes when I hear or think of something that harmonizes with my feelings harmonizes uh, is a good word isn't it yeah would About you say that harmony in food would be only eating green beans no or is harmony a variety of things? A variety of harmony things. is a wonderful word, isn't it? Mm -hmm. When uh, this harmonizes with my feelings about justice or the nature of all that is, I get tears in my eyes. And these are tears of joy. To some they may indicate sadness and therefore something negative, but to me it indicates something very positive and yes. I hope I'm right. Yes. Often your tears are what you describe as being overjoyed, which means you have come into vibrational contact with more joy than your physical body can contain.